Okay, today we're going to be talking about the last lesson in chapter 2, uh, 2.8, simple interest. Um, this is the last lesson in all of chapter 2, which means you can expect some sort of assessment coming up pretty soon. Um, simple interest is a very, very useful term when we talk about financial things. Um, and then there's another one that, that you're affected by and that you're going to use, especially later in life. Um, and you'll see that because we use interest when we do things like loans or we do savings accounts and things like that. So um, I know I say that all the time that this is like super useful, but I believe it. This one is another one thing that's really useful. Um, you'll see interest rates when you're, they talk about taking out loans or credit card payments or uh, banks will offer higher interest rates um, for savings accounts and things like that. So uh, we're going to look at it in a couple of different aspects um, in a savings account, like when you put money in the bank or uh, in investments or things like that, interest is good. It's basically you put something in and it grows over time without you having to do anything. It just adds on um, at a certain percentage. And for loans, it's not as good because that means if you owe some money, then you are going to owe a little bit more on top of that. So um, we'll talk about some of those different examples. So um, the good thing about simple interest is it's just a formula that you have to follow. And let's go ahead and, and start with, with that formula. So let's start with the interest equation. So go ahead and please write this down. All right, here is the interest equation, okay? Um, it's simply I is equal to P times R times T, okay? Uh, when the letters are right next to each other, we know that's multiplication. So I is equal to P times R times T. So what do all these letters mean? Well, let's go ahead and hash that out. First one is I, which stands for the interest. And that's all we're going to be really looking to find. Um, but in future lessons or, or in the future, you might be able to, to be able to find either the principle, the rate, or the time later on. Okay. Um, P, okay, stands for the principle. All right. And the principle is um, how much you start with. Okay. So this is called the principle. It's all right up here. P stands for principle. Not like Miss Wilson, your principal. Okay. Um, principle is the starting point, okay? So this is um, how much you start with, okay? Um, the R stands for rate, right? And that's always going to be a percentage, okay? But you want to be able to put this actually in the decimal form when you actually do the multiplying. And then lastly is T, which stands for time. This one, um, and not only is it time, it's time in terms of years, okay? Um, and so we'll go over some example of what I mean by years and when it's not years and stuff, uh, and so on and so forth. So take a second to copy this down. Um, again, I equals PRT. I stands for interest. P stands for principal, which is how much you start with. Um, R stands for rate. T stands for time in, in years. Um, and so this is a simple equation that you're going to use over and over and over again. Um, and once you get the hang of it, then you just basically are putting things in your calculator and you should be able to come out with the right answer. All right. So let's do an example. And so you can see what I am kind of referring to. All right. So first off, letter A, let's say that you put okay, $580 into a savings account. Now, the good thing about savings account is the reason that you would put money into the savings account is because um, you get some interest. So instead of just keeping it in your drawer at home, you put it in the bank and you get a little bit of money for just leaving there in the bank. Because what the bank does is it actually uses your money. And so as kind of like a, a thank you for doing that, they give you a little bit of interest, right? Um, and let's, let's just use, for example, a 3% rate. Now, this is very, very high, okay? Um, normal banks offer like, 0.1% or something like that, especially in our current financial state, but we'll just use that as an example, okay? And let's say you left it there for three years. So you, you left it there for three years and it had more time to grow. Okay, so what you wanna be able to do is figure out what parts do we have so far and what are we missing? Okay. Um, in this case, the 580 savings, that's how much you put in, that's gonna be our P, okay? The rate, is gonna be our R and three years, well, that's gonna be our time. That seems to make sense, doesn't it? 
okay? Which means we're missing the interest. That's the question that we have. What is the interest? How much interest do we gain, all right? So this is what we're gonna do. All we're gonna do is we're gonna write the formula and we're gonna plug in the numbers that we have, okay? So first, here's the formula. I is equal to P times R times T. Okay, so we know we don't have I. We know what P is, which is 580. So we're just gonna put that in, okay? as 580. We know the rate. Now, this is the part that gets, that mixes, gets people mixed up. The rate has to be in decimal form. So let's go back a second and think. We have a 3% rate, but we don't want to just write a 3 there. We have to change 3 to decimal form. So remember, let's, let's go back a second and, and see, remember what, what that should be, okay? So if I have 3%, that's actually 3.0, to change it to decimal, I need to move the decimal two places, right? One, two. So my actual rate is not three, it's 0 0.03. Okay, change it to decimal form. You gotta move it two decimals to the left. And lastly is time, and our time is right here, which is three years. Okay, and so now all you have to do is put that into your calculator to find out the interest. So go ahead and do that right now. 580 times 0 0.03 times three, and you'll get your interest. So you should get $52 and 20 cents. Hopefully, that's what you got. And what does this number mean? Okay, what this number means is if you put $580 into your savings account, and if you got 3% rate, and you just left it there for three years, you did nothing, just left it there for three years. When you come back at the end of three years, without doing anything, it grew $52.20. Okay, so now you have not just the through 580, but you have $52.20 as well. So you're, the total amount in your savings account right now would be $580 plus the 52.20, right? Let's go ahead and add that in our calculators. You actually now have $632.20. Sometimes I'm gonna ask for this total number. Sometimes I'm just gonna ask for the interest, but just so you guys know, that's what's going on there, right? So it's not bad. You didn't do it, have to do anything and you got 3%. Um, again, now, if you think about it, that means the more money that you put in, the more money that you're going to um, that you're going to get out of that, right? The more money that you have in the same account, and also the longer you have it in, right? The bigger the numbers that you multiply, the better it has. Okay. Um, let's do one more. Let's do one more, and this time I'm going to give you guys a little bit more time to do this, kind of like more on your own. Okay. So problem B. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's say, for example, all right. You have, um, let's do this one. All right, you have, you put $350 into a savings account. We'll say it's $350 deposit. Okay, that means to put in, you put in money, right? Um, the rate is 6.2%. And you leave it there for again for three years. All right, go ahead and try and figure out how much interest I will gain from there. How much interest? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and write out my formula again. And as you get better at this, you don't have to write out the full formula, but I do wanna see when I sh say show your work, I know a lot of it's just in the calculator. Um, I want to show you at least the number that you multiply, right? Okay, so here we go. We know that our principal is what we started with. So that's right here, 350. Our rate is right here. 
6.2, which again, we have to change to move the decimal two places, one, two, so 0 0.062. And then our time in years, three years, so that's just regular three, so we're good to go on that. So I need to write that equal sign, okay. Okay, so go ahead and put that in your calculator and let's see what you get. All right, and hopefully you got what I got, which is $65.10. So it would be 65.1, but remember we write it as money, so I need to put the zero there as well. All right, $65.10, pretty good. Okay, the other thing that you're gonna see um, on your homework tonight is what if we have problems where um, not exact years, so not whole number of years, right? Because, you know, we deal with months and we deal with um, half years and things like that. So let's do a problem here just to see. Okay, so let's say, um, let her see. Okay. Um, let's say that we, um, we were going to, let's use that, actually, that same example from, from before. Well, let's mix up the numbers a little bit. Let's say we were going to say we put $600. Let's say we took out a loan. This time we took out a loan, which means you're borrowing money. Okay. And you have to pay interest on a loan because just think about it. If you, the only reason someone would lend you money is when you pay them back, you actually pay them a little bit more. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense for them to loan you any money, right? Because then they're just down money for a while. So let's just say that uh, we'll make it. We'll make a big numbers here. We'll say five thousand dollars. So five thousand dollar loan. Let's say that there was a six percent uh, rate. Um, and let's say you wanted to pay it off after just six months. So you want to know how much interest would it cost you in just six months? So the question is, again, how much interest? How much interest is this going to cost you? How much more do you have to pay this person back or pay back the bank? So right now you already owe 5000 You're going to owe a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and figure um, this out. Well, I'll do this one with you. Okay. The, the key is this. You have to think about six months. You can't just put the number six because six is, is for years, right? That stands for years. So instead, what you have to do is you have to say, let's change this to let's change this to a decimal. So I know that there are six months out of a possible twelve, which means that's zero point five years, right? Half a year. So now I have my time in term of years. Hopefully that makes sense. So you got to change your months into years. Right, and by you do that by just dividing by twelve. So let's go ahead and try and do the problem now. Right, so i is equal to p times r times t. We're missing the i, so I don't know it. I know my principal is going to be five thousand. That's what I started with. I know my rate is six percent, and again, six percent is equal to zero point zero six. We got to move that decimal over. And again, time. If I put just six here, that would stand for six years, right? That's too big. You can't do that, right? So that's why you can't just say, oh, six months, six years, not the same thing. You got to change it to this number here, 0 0.5. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and multiply this out and see what we get. All right, so I got 150. So what does this mean? Th that means that if you borrowed money, $5,000, and you might think that's a lot, but actually you borrow a lot more money than that when you eventually hopefully buy a house or you buy a car or um, you go to college and you have to take out a student loan. Um, 
If you ever hear about things about like student loan debt, this is why. Because if you think about it, this five thousand dollar loan, in just six months, you actually owe more than that. You owe five thousand, and you owe this hundred and fifty right here, which is which is growing. So that's why you want to avoid things like high interest loans. Okay, so for example, on credit cards, they have high interest um, loans if you if you don't pay back to pay them off on time, or if you see some of these other. Um, places that offer like quick cash and things like that, you want to avoid those because they offer really high interest loans, right? So that's something you want to avoid. Okay. Let's do one more problem like this without not whole number of years. Okay. Let's see if you guys can figure this out. Let's say that, um, let's do another loan problem. Okay. This time, let's say we'll make numbers really big. Um, 10, uh, let's say 12,000. You want to buy a new car. So you took out a $12,000 loan. Um, let's say the rate is not too bad, so just a 4.5% um, rate. And you're going to pay it off in, uh, let's say, two and a half years. All right, so if you can try and figure that one out, try and figure it out. Again, the tricky part is the years. So I'm going to show you what to do with that. All right, so again, we know this is the principal. That's what you start with. We know this is the rate, but we're not going to fall for the trap, right? This is our rate, um, but remember, we're going to write it as 0 0.045, right? Move the decimal two places, one, two. Okay, so there's our R. And again, time is where the one that's a little bit tricky. Two and a half years, we don't like to multiply by with the fractions, so I'm going to change that to 2.5 years. Again, how did I do that? If you just do one divided by two in your calculator, you'll get 0.5. So whatever fraction that might be thrown at you, that's how you can change that to a decimal. So again, with months, you divide by 12. That's that here. With half, uh, with fractions, you could just divide the fractions. Okay, so one divided by two is 0.5. Okay, and there's our time. All right, by now you should kind of know what to do. Just go ahead and basically multiply these numbers together. So again, I is equal to PRT. All right, go ahead and figure that out. All right, here we go. 12,000 times my rate of 0 0.045. And my time, which is 2.5 years. All right. And when I multiply all those and put those in my calculator, go ahead and do that if you haven't have a chance. I get 1,350. So here is my interest. That's how much interest I'm going to pay. So the question is, well, if I borrowed $12,000 from the bank to pay for my car, how much money will I have to pay if I take me two and a half years at this rate? Well, that means my total would be twelve thousand dollars plus an extra one thousand three hundred and fifty, which is equal to thirteen thousand three hundred and fifty. All right, that's my total. So you can see that the more years or the higher the rate or the higher the principal, if any of those are bigger, the bigger it is, the more it's going to be an interest, which is, again, good if you're doing a savings account and not so good if you're taking out a loan. Um, to give you some perspective on that, um, houses, for example, those go for 30 years. That's how long like a mortgage is, and, and you might pay like $500,000. So you can think how much interest that is. That's crazy, right? Um, student loans like college. That's why people talk about student loan debt so much is because, again, um, they take out maybe $200,000 of loans for 6%, and it's, it's an astronomical amount, and that's why it's hard to pay off. Um, so that's some good advice for you guys is to pay off your loans as fast as you can and don't get into loans if you don't have to um, because, you know, they're hard to – you have to end up paying a lot extra, right? Paying this much 
more on top of what you already owe is a lot more, okay? Okay, so basically that's all you have to do in this lesson is find the formula, right? I equals PRT, and then plug in the numbers. And again, the trickiest part, right? The trickiest part on all these, I believe, part that gets people messed up is understanding that this 3% is actually 0 0.03, okay? Um, understanding that 6.2 is actually 0 0.062. Right? Understanding that the rate um, is what trips most people up on these ones, okay? All right, so um, good luck. Once you get a hang of it, then it goes by really fast. Um, and you should be able to, a lot of you should have enough time to finish up your homework kind of within this next, uh, yeah, these next couple months here. So um, good luck. And um, that's a lesson on simple interest.